behind me you can see the memorial of Austerlitz, um, a, a great, really fantastic thing, a pyramid, one of the first um, peace monuments in Europe. They are reconstructing the whole thing and it's going to be quite grand. It's, uh, it's impressive what they are planning to do, including with the museum. And I clearly agree that the reconstruction of the whole thing is necessary. I wouldn't say it's outdated. Um, such a monument is never outdated, but uh, the whole surroundings and everything are, are not up to date anymore for modern tourism. I mean, that kind of thing. <laughs> we find it everywhere. The whole museum part is um, outdated. Let's put it short. Four statues are, are representing the powers who uh, went to war here at Austerlitz. Um, you can see, as you can see, the Russians uh, back then they were allies against the French. Now the French are allies of other people against uh, the Russians. Uh, it's, it's just a big game. That is my opinion. Uh, and this is uh, a striking thing because th that is war. I find that uh, incredibly touching. That is a mother crying for her fallen son. Um, does it have to be that way? I don't think so. So, en mémoire des guerriers autrichiens, russes et français morts dans la bataille d'Austerlitz uh, le 2 décembre 1805. And here. Yeah. In German, zur Erinnerung an die Schlacht bei Austerlitz am 2. Dezember 1805 gefallenen österreichischen, russischen und französischen Krieger. Underneath uh, the monument there is a chapel, but as I said, the whole thing is under construction, which is necessary, highly necessary. Uh, it's, it's really becoming a part. And they say that you can have a guided tour of the chapel if you take a ticket uh, at the ticket office, although I don't think so. Um, due to the reconstruction, um, that shouldn't be possible, but it's beautiful inside. Uh, I'm, I'm taking a look through the windows and it's gorgeous. Why did they put the monument here? Well, uh, on this spot where I am standing, and where that lady is crying for her fallen son. Um, that's the highest point. And there you had the commanders of uh, the, well, let's call them Allied armies. Um, the whole thing was in German also called uh, the Drei Kaiserschlacht, uh, the Battle of the Three Emperors, uh, France, Austria, and Russia, that is. And here, here they had uh, their headquarters uh, with, a, with a look on, on, on the plains where, well, many, many Russians, uh, Austrians uh, uh, and, and uh, the others uh, died. Um, few French in comparison. So it's, it's quite, it's giving me the chills. And here you have uh, one of those paid things. I, 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 my impression is this one is from the communist times. Um, you won't put any money into that. Uh, it, it is still moving. That's a, it's a cool thing, nevertheless. <laughs> still moving. So, uh, yeah, fantastic. Karl Zeiss, Jena, maybe. Oh, and you can... You can you can even use it without money. Who who would have thought that? That's magnificent. Because from here, 
I guess um, oh, that's where where the slaughter took place.